speak whatever you want to speak i'll do my thing for the man they didn't let me even sit for two periods i was standing continuously okay all right okay so you two were busy in teaching what about the other students what were you doing yes, sir. you tell me farhan and safia and irshad you people tell me ma'am i was also teaching only ma'am same you were also teaching so wow, this is yeah. something new i never heard about this okay yes, and what about you safia were you also teaching everyone was a teacher today yes sir Okay, nice. It's good to be in someone else's shoes, isn't it? For one day. Yes. Sir. So, do you like how many of you see your career as teacher? Um, I don't. I don't. None? I don't. None of you do. Oh God. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, what do you want to be? I'm um, software engineer. Software engineer. Okay. Yes. What else? Who else? I'm um, engineer only. Engineer. Okay. Safia, what do you want to be? A doctor or an engineer or something Maybe else? Doctor. Maybe doctor. Farhan, what about you? I'm an engineer. Engineer. So I have three engineers in my class. Okay. Yes, what sir. about Ishad? What do you want to be? Hmm. Well, Ishad. Computer science. Computer science. You want to be science. Ma'am, like uh, this computer software and software developer. Yes, sir. Okay, okay, nice, very ambitious. So, like you people are going to go for IIT, isn't it? Yes, Those of yes, you sir. who are yes, uh, willing to be an engineer. Okay, very nice, yes. very good. All right. So, unfortunately, you people have to study biology. Yes, ma'am. Till tenth, right? Yes. And then in twelfth, you can choose maths. All right. Yes, okay. Yes, so let's talk about the different kinds of epithelial tissues that we have. <clears throat> so, uh, the first one is the squamous epithelium. We can also call the squamous epithelium as the pavement epithelium. Talking about the characteristics, like what are the cell type or what is it like? So, the cells of the squamous epithelium they are large, but they are extremely thin and flat cells. So large, extremely thin, and flattened cells are present in the squamous epithelium. Yes. Talking about the location, where is it present? So the squamous epithelium is present in the lining of the blood vessels, meaning towards the inner side of the blood vessels, meaning arteries, veins. It is present in the alveoli of lungs. It is present in the esophagus, that is the food pipe, and it is also present in the lining of mouth and cheek, meaning towards the inner side. Now, the function of the squamous epithelium is protection, also to transport substances through a selectively permeable membrane. So, the squamous epithelium, since it is very flat and since it is very thin, so it helps us uh, to transport substances. Through a selectively permeable membrane. Clear? Yes. yes Squamous epithelium functions and everything is clear to you all? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma okay, very good. Now, the next one is stratified squamous epithelium. See, stratified stratification, you people understand? Strata, presence of different layers. That is yes, stratification. Yes, Just like you might have studied about soil layers topsoil, yes, bedrocks and all of that. So that is stratification, meaning the presence of several layers. So when we talk, yes? Is this layer very hard? Like this tissue is very hard? No, it's not very hard. It is tough, but it's not hard. Like the okay. epithelium is present on the top of the body. So it's not yes. hard, but it, it's very tough. Now, uh, talking about the stratified squamous epithelium, so these, they look like they are arranged in many layers. So, the cells, they are in the pattern of layers. So, that is sort of like a modification of um, squamous epithelium. Just like squamous epithelium is a normal thin layer, flat cell. But the stratified squamous epithelium, these are the ones that are arranged in a layer pattern. Where is it present? So, outer protective covering of all the body surface, the best example is the skin. 
our skin is made up of stratified squamous epithelium. Okay, it is present in like the outer protective covering for our body surfaces. Now talking about the function, so it provides protection to the underlying tissues. The main reason our skin is there so as to perform our internals, right? Internal structures, our blood vessels and every single thing, our cells and all. So the main, the prime function of the stratified squamous epithelium is to provide protection. Then comes columnar epithelium. Now, columnar epithelium is the one wherein the cells will be column-like. They will be tall and they will be like a pillar. So, the columnar epithelium are the ones in which the cells are pillar-like and tall. Now, where are they present? So, they are present in the inner lining of the stomach and intestine. Towards the inner parts of the stomach and also the intestine. That is where the columnar epithelium is present. Now, what is the function? Since it is present in the stomach and the intestine, so they, their prime function will be absorption of nutrients, absorption of special, uh, you can say, important components from the digested food. So that is what the function of columnar epithelium will be. Then the fourth one is sort of like a modification of the columnar epithelium only, wherein the columnar epithelium now has the presence of cells. So the cells, they possess fine hair-like cilia. Talking about the location, so it is present in the inner lining of trachea, lungs and the respiratory system. This is the location and then comes the function. So in the respiratory tract, the movement of the cilia pushes the mucus forward to clear it. We know that whenever we inhale or you can say breathe in. So the air that we breathe in, it comes with a lot of dust particles, isn't it? So our yes. dust particles, they do not get deposited in our body because of the ciliated columnar cells. They help the mucus and the dust particle to clear out. Clear students? Yes, so the columnar yes, epithelium with the cilia, we'll call it as ciliated columnar epithelium. Then comes yes. the cuboidal epithelium. Cube-like cells are present. So the cells in the cuboidal epithelium, they are cube-shaped. Now, where is it present? So it is present in the lining of the kidney tubules as well as the ducts of salivary gland. So they have the cuboidal yes. epithelium. Talking about what is the function. So, particularly we are talking about the kidney tubules and the lining. So, they help in the absorption of useful materials from the urine. Because we know that urine is the filtered blood. Right? Whenever our blood gets filtered, urine is formed. So, the cuboidal cells that are present in the lining of the kidney tubules, they help in absorption of any useful materials that are still present in the urine. Clear? Yes, ma'am. Then comes the glandular epithelium. Glandular. It refers to a gland-like structure. So, in this case, the epithelial tissue would fold inside. Just like this. It will fold inside and then it will make a gland. This is the gland. Okay. And this gland is multicellular in nature. Made up of multiple cells. Now, where is it present? So, it is present in the stomach, in the intestine and in the pancreas. Talking about the function that they perform. So, they perform the synthesis and secretion of substances at the epithelial surface. Because we know wherever glands will be present, they'll perform the function of synthesis and secretion only. So, that is their function. So, now are how many, all... How many epithelials are there? Six or five? Six. Uh, ma'am, but in my book, it's only, there are only four of them. Only four of them? Yes, ma'am. Okay, which ones? Till, uh, uh, till uh, columnar. Till columnar, meaning um, squamous, stratified epithelium, cuboidal and columnar. Yes, ma'am, till that. Okay. Till that. Okay, anyway, you people can learn a little extra also. Yes, ma'am. It, it won't be asked in the exam? 
right but you should know more yes, so all of these are the different types of epithelial tissues now tell me if you have any doubts no ma'am no ma'am all of no, these things are clear yes ma'am yes ma'am yes, oh, ma very good all right now you people can note it down Mam, cardiac muscle is an involuntary muscle, right? Yes, it is. Mam, we have to note up the animal tissue. Okay, you have to note some animal tissues. Yes, ma'am. This part? Yeah, yes, ma'am. Oh. Last class also we did do this. I'm done. No, ma'am. Okay, okay. You can write comfortably. I'm not changing this. Thing. I'm done. Everyone's done? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am.
मैम मैम डन ऑल ऑफ यू आर डन स्टूडेंट यस मैम What about the rest of you? Done, ma'am. Oh. Done, ma'am.
Ma'am, uh, uh, in the first type, uh, there is another name also of it, right? The pavement tissue, epithelium. Yes, pavement. Yes. Because it has a tile like appearance. Tile. Yes. Yes. Ma'am, should we write this for Yes, you can write it in the form of a chart. Like how I have drawn, you can make columns and write. All of these things you can write. Okay, ma'am.
Yes, ma'am. Done.
Mandal. Everyone can? No, ma. One minute. Okay, okay. Yes, ma'am, done.
wounded. No, ma. Mm -hmm. I'm done. Um, I'm done. Okay, any doubt, student? No, ma'am. That... No, ma Are all the different kinds of epithelial tissues clear to you all? Yes, yes ma'am. Okay, the location, yes, the function, the cell type, everything is clear? Yes, yes ma'am. Ma all right, very good. So now the next type of tissues that we are going to start is the connective tissue. 
now by the name only you sort of can make out that okay they are responsible for all sorts of connections in our body right yes. we have variety of connective tissues in our body such as blood which is the fluid connective tissue then there is the bone cartilage Solid. tendon ligament yes, areolar tissue and lastly there is adipose tissue so these are all the different kinds of connective tissue which we will be discussing in depth 